football foul. It might be on Mamaril. Football foul, Mamaril. That'll be his fourth personal foul, and uh, he looks stunned that the foul is going to go against him. And he, he's not going to be risked by Jaworski. He's their, best center. He's their best center. And uh, that's a fitting description. He had eight points, and that happened during the first quarter. Has had no production. He has come up with four shot blocks, however. Harmon is back in the floor. Am Palayo controls the boards for his sixth rebound. Safely to Dynamite. Padim is waiting for him. Four and 40 here in the third. 75-68. Lead remains the same for Añejo. Solis playing with four personal fouls. Patrimonio with three. Joey trying to work on that pick. A little bit longer that time. Luis Bowie going to Alvin. Lead pass to Marquez. He lost it on the dribble. It bounced quite high. Bounced into the face of Gonzalo. He's going to take it all the way. But he's fouled by Padim before he could go up. It'll be two free throws for Dante Israel. Gonzalo. For Dante Gonzalo. That's the first foul against Padim, and here's the story on team fouls. Both of the teams have five team fouls apiece, Pingoy. By the way, as always, our choice for the Jollibee best player will be revealed to you right after this game. First point for Dante Gonzalgo in this ballgame. Well, Dante Gonzalgo really has enjoyed the production line, Andy. 11 points average a ball game with a high of 34. That came up against Pure Foods when I think he had five out of six uh, attempts from the three-point territory in that ball game. This is quite different from uh, his performance last August 30 when they defeated Pure Foods by three. High five for Ampalayo, nice jackknife. And there was no way Solis, who was playing safety, could give up a foul. With four personal fouls, he could only offer token resistance. Well, going back to performance of Dante Gonzalo last uh, August 30, he knocked in 19 points. Jerry Cordinera working against his brother, double team. Padim goes to Pat uh, Patrimonio. Good move by Albin, and there's the foul by Dante Gonzalo. Well, on that particular offensive play, Fal one got Gonzalo. the impression that there was no designated Marquez. shooter. They were looking for somebody passing the ball as if it was a hot potato. What happened there was, like I said, Añejo loves to double team a lot or work you guys in the uh, paint, forcing you to throw up the pass again. Nobody wanted to take the shot. Albin not shy to do it. Well, so Capacho's back in the floor for uh, Marquez, who was definitely sizzling, 13 points. And now Juan Fernandez, hopefully, has gotten his rhythm. And being paced is Jerry Codinera. This is happening with 3 and 34 here in the third. Now, the thing that Mon has to watch out for is not to pick up a fifth foul at this point. Because that will really disturb the substitution patterns of Kalila. If you have to take him out and then put back Cordinera, you can address Jerry at this point. No? Well, you begin now to focus on Alvin Patrimonio. He's come alive with 10 points. That's far from his average of just under 18. Here comes San Palayo. He saw the opening. He was like a can opener. Yes. I don't know how he found that space in that play. Juan Fernandez faking to the right and curled away from Codinera. And Codinera just drew his fifth personal foul. And that placed Añejo in penalty situation with three and seven seconds here in the third. Chito Leisaga switching off again to Ramon. Armand has to pick up somebody else. There's Patrimonio. It depends on Alvin. Down on the floor, but he got this basket. He's got 12 points now, knocking four right here in the third. His ability to curl in the paint is a big asset for Alvin. There's going to be a blocking foul on uh, Capacho. That'll be his third personal foul. foul. Capacho. We have a timeout. Timeout, Añejo Ram, 65. Time left here in the third, 2 and 46. Añejo in penalty situation to the 16 fouls of Pure Foods. A stock formation as Joey Loisaga roams. They break away, going to Dante Gonzalo safely. Here he comes in a running shot. He goes for second servings. Mon Fernandez was there to detract him. Here the offensive rebounder, Sol is really pushing the ball up. Patrimonio with a great move, but he's going to be... He goes off with the left hand to push off, but he's, somebody else is caught with a foul. 
It may be called Count against Loisaga. Loisaga. Watch it once more. Here's how it happened. It looked like that he, there was a warding movement on the part of Alvin, but he completes the success story on the three-point opportunity. Another fast break points for the uh, Pure Foods team. They have cut down the lead to only six, two minutes and 28 seconds left in the third quarter. So they were able to cut down that lead of Alaska uh, Añejo to six points. Here is Joey looking for him. What a shot! They've really been going to the play of Joey one-on-one -on -one against Solis, hoping that Solis will pick up his fifth foul. Solis hard off the glass. Home run pitch, and Palayo is there being chased by Alvin. I he could have taken his time. Yes. Alvin was not going to challenge him. Bounce deep. Juan Fernandez is that court. Top going to... Oh, here is a three-in-one situation, and no deterring on that slicing the middle by Harmon. That's a four-point swing. Mon Fernandez had an opportunity to score underneath the basket. The other team beats you with a two points on the fast break. Knocked away by Mon Fernandez. And you've got to admire the attitude here of Añejo. There may have been something doubtful in the three-point play, but they quickly erase it from their minds. Concentrate on the game. The call had already been made. And they're back to a 10-point lead as time ticks away here in the third, a minute and 20. Last touch by Solis in that play. Shot ten locked down to 10 seconds. seconds and a minute and 20 left in the third quarter. By the way, every Wednesday for the whole month of September is Micro Mini Night at Faces Disco. Ladies who come in Micro Minis will get a free round of drinks at Faces Disco. Your idea of fun. Joey took it away, tapped it away from Mon Fernandez. Ampalayo was there, lost control. He's trying to save it. But he got blocked out, and a foul is going to go against Capaccio. That's Capacio. his fourth. And that placed the hot dogs also in penalty situation. As you know, Añejo really got into penalty situation early here in the third quarter. Helter Skelter now on the place. Three-point shot by Joey Loisaga. Yes, sir. Loisaga. Three points. He has buried a total of four rainbow shots, three of which happening here in the third quarter on his way to 16 points, making 13 of that here in the third. That's going to be a blocking foul on Ampalayo, fourth personal foul, two free throws for Albin Patrimonio. This could tell on Ampalayo during the end game when foul he entered the fourth. Ampalayo. Might have to be taken out at this moment. With only uh, 41 seconds left, you cannot risk him picking up a fifth foul here in the third quarter. This is the third time that Añejo enjoys a 13-point lead. 88-75, time is 41 seconds here in the Ampalayo. third. And Ampalayo is not risked by Robert Jaworski. We have Isaac, who was just super during the first half with 12 points. Ampalayo misses the first. Well, Alvin, not the guy to really miss from the 15-foot line, also feeling the pressure right now. He's got 15 points in the ball game, averages 17.8 a ball game and 10 over 10 rebounds. Well, so far he's been limited to five rebounds in the first three quarters. Time ticks away, 35 seconds. Good block by Patrimonio. He comes out with the ball. Juan Fernandez in a three and two situation. Chito Leisaga called for the foul. Foul 41, Loisaga. Only the second personal foul against Loisaga, but they're over the limit. So Mon Fernandez has an opportunity for two, and more importantly, to cut down right now a 12-point lead being enjoyed by Añejo Ram. There was a key play there when Leo Isaac challenged Patrimonio. Patrimonio, despite the fact that he's in foul trouble, never wavered, came with a block and a steal. Fernandez, eight points so far in this ball game, four personal fouls. 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Mon makes two out of two. Juan Fernandez, seven points of the half, making two here, making up off the boards, pulling down eight rebounds, and he's come up with two shot blocks. Now you can see Leo Isaac really holding on to the ball. They like to use the clock in this play. Hope to be able to take a good last shot and not give Pure Foods a chance to come back with another two points. Difference of three seconds between game clock and shot clock down to three seconds. It is Joey Loy Saga. 
scoring a two-pointer and he just buried his 18th point and the third ends finding Añejo enjoying a 12-point lead. 90 for Añejo, 78 for Pure Foods and checking with Andy Howe, the shooting percentage of Pure Foods during the third must have soured. 30% shooting, but now, you know, I think they realize that they must attack the big men. Try to get the big men of Añejo out. Harmon has five fouls. Mamarel will have to be sent back in. He's got four. Ampalayo also has four. You got to challenge them on the inside to be able to come back. Get your percentage shots higher. And, you know, there is a pattern. Trying to go to Dante Gonzalgo. Mon Fernandez was there. And defensive rebound pulled down by Patrimonio. That's a lot of weight on the shoulders of Alvin. He's living up to the challenge, partner. Was well, a 10 point lead, and Patrimonio again isolated there. Double team, however, coming. Padim. Juan Fernandez on the offensive rebound gets jostled. You yeah. know, going back to the statement I was about to make, Andy, there is a pattern here in the PBA that when you enter the fourth quarter, if you're trading by 10 or 12, you're still in the ball game. Oh, yes, definitely you are. You know, Pure Foods has gotten a lot of rest for its key men like Jerry Cordinera and uh, uh, Jojo Lastimosa. And they are a team proven to be able to come back in the fourth quarter. Añejo now has to prove it can withstand and hold the lead. Well, Jaworski is back in action. He brings fresh legs. Found Gonzalgo. And uh, Dante Gonzalgo just drew his fifth personal foul. He's in danger. Jaworski picking up Patrimonio. Tried to reach in. Found the arm Jaworski. of Alvin. So that's something working against them. Three but quick fouls here in, at the start of the fourth quarter. On the other hand, Pure Foods is clean. And uh, Dante Gonzalgo, because of five personal fouls, Ampalaya returns to the court. And Dante Gonzalgo limited to four points. Pulled down four rebounds. The first of two made by Alvin. That's a weak production on the part of Dante Gonzalgo. He's been averaging slightly more than 11 points per game. I think he couldn't find his game today, you know. He was forced to take poor shots. He couldn't drive into the lane like he usually does. And so that took him off his rhythm. Eight-point lead. Another good start by Pure Foods at the top of the fourth quarter. Four to nothing blast. Post play now for Jaworski against Solis. Solis crouching low. Trying to spin away, distracted by Capacho. Going to the open man. Harmon does not score. One by Ampalayo, looking for room. Trying to do it the hard way. Down the floor is Harmon, but it's a dead ball situation. Foul is going to be called against Patim Foul in that play. Israel. Two free throws for Dondon Ampalayo. The play again made possible because of offensive rebounding. You can't blame Jaworski for doing those uh, exercises. He sat on the bench a little bit too long because his squad and his substitutions were just clicking. Yes, the, guy was, the guys on the court were playing well. Why disturb a good thing? Ampalayo forced to come back Israel. into the ball game despite four fouls because of the uh, foul trouble uh, garnered by uh, Dante Gonzalgo. You know, the heavyweights of uh, the hot dogs are beginning to make their appearance. Jerry Cordinera back to work. Harmon with a good offensive rebound there. That was a back rim uh, attempt from the stripe by Ampalayo. Sharp. They swing it over to Harmon. Joey picked up there by Glenn Capacho. He exploded with 15 points during the third quarter. Yes, sir. A big basket by Joey Loisaga. It caught the loop and, and it trickled in. Not only that, partner, he picked up the fourth personal foul of Patrimonio. Look at this play again. It's a gutsy play. Patrimonio expecting him to take it from the outside. He drives in, gets the foul from Patrimonio, and makes the shot. You know, this may be on the light side, but I had a brief chat with Joey. I said, Joey, how is the operation of the nose? He says, you know, I think it helped. It has made me lighter. <laughs> Ten minutes to go. 94-82, Añejo. And that's going to be a big one because that'll be the f that might be the fifth on uh, Ampalayo. Found Ampalayo. 
That's right, and this is happening under 10 minutes, and you've got Ajeja now playing with 14 fouls. Make that five, Asani gives up another foul against Patrimonio. Fan Jaworski. That'll be his third, Ampalayo. and the fifth against Añejo as a squad. Mamaril is back in the ball game. Ampalayo is going to be checking out. Well, Purefoot's doing exactly what we expected them to do, trying to get this big man to foul out or get into foul trouble, and they have to keep on leaving the court. Well, Ampalayo sits out with 22 points. They go out safely to Capacho. The big J is there, playing with three personal fouls. Trying to crowd him all the way. Good pass to Alvin. Yes, Body sir. control. That's a great play by a great player. Well, he has outdone himself, improving his average slightly under 18. He has now scored 22. Almost taken away by Fernandez from Rainbow Country. Seven, three Those are the breaks of the game. You know, he almost lose the ball. It goes to somebody in the three-point territory, and he scores. And that's breathing room. 97-84. Añejo and Dynamite has scored his second rainbow shot. Now Fernandez getting another field goal here at the start of the uh, fourth quarter. His first two points, I think, now in the fourth quarter. Yes, he had two from the stripe during the third, and that was his 11th point. They give it to Joey. Capasha keeping an eye on him. Tried to reach in. They've got eight on the shot clock. Jaworski keeps it alive. Another offensive rebound. He's in the three-point territory. Outlet now going to Capasha. Safely to Solis. Yes, sir. And a three-point play coming up for Solis. And here Found could be the beginning of the Saga. uphill climb of Pure Foods. Watch it once more as Solis, who has gone on a dry spell after making five in the first quarter, just got his first conversion from the floor, now has a three-point opportunity. Seven points for Solis, nine-point lead for Añejo. Solis could cut it down to eight. He misses, and Harmon, despite five fouls, has done his share for Añejo. And Harmon, aside from four points, eight rebounds. Time is eight and 14. Here is Joey. Trying to disengage from Capacho. And a blocking and foul called against Capacho in that play. Capacho. That'll be the fifth against Capacho. And the 13th foul Isaga. against Pure Foods. Isaac is back. And Joey is going to get his second breath. And he seems to Capacho. be limping. I think he's tired. Yes. And uh, Jolas, he brings fresh legs. Capacho sits out because of five personal fouls. So Kalila now going to the first five with Jojo Lastimosa well rested. He could be a big factor in this comeback. Here is Jaworski. Dynamite. Drive and draw. Juan Fernandez looking upstairs. Here comes Jerry. Hits the open man. Alvin Wild. And Mamaril brings out the defensive rebound. He is fully turbo charged. Well, he's a big man. He can pick up defensive rebounds, but there he has the elbow swinging in that play. That's a lot of uh, long right. list of foul troubles. I don't know if you could have read that. <laughs> it's almost like a bargain sale on the part of Añejo. 